Good afternoon, everybody. We're celebrating the feast of the most sacred heart of Jesus, and the church prescribes that we will recite the Gloria and the Creed after the homily. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that we who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us may be made worthy to receive an overwhelming measure of grace from that fount of heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. from the prophet Hosea. Listen to the word of the Lord. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and I called my son out of Egypt. I myself taught Ephraim to walk. I took them in my arms. Yet they have not understood that I was the one looking after them. I led them with reins of kindness, with leading strings of love, I was like someone who lifts an infant close against his cheek. Stooping down to him, I gave him his food. How could I treat you like Abram, or deal with you like Sebeon? My heart recoils from it. My whole being trembles at the thought. I will not give rein to my fierce anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God, not man. I am the Holy One in your midst, and have no wish to destroy. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With joy you will draw water from the wells of the Saviour. With, With joy you will draw water from the wells, wells of the Saviour. Truly God is my salvation. I trust I shall not fear. For the Lord is my strength, my song. He became my saviour. With joy, joy you would draw water, water from the wells, from the wells of, of the salvation. With joy you would draw water, water from, from the wells, wells of the saviour. Give thanks to the Lord, give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to the peoples. Declare the greatness of his name. With joy you, you would, would draw water, water from, from the wells, wells of the saviour. Sing a psalm to the Lord. For he has done glorious deeds, make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. With, With joy, joy you draw water, water from, from the wells, wells of the Saviour. Saviour. 
A reading from the letter St. Paul to the Ephesians. I, Paul, am less than the least of all the saints, have been entrusted with this special grace, not only of proclaiming to the pagans the infinite treasure of Christ, but also explaining how the mystery is to be dispensed. Through all the ages, this had been kept hidden in God, the creator of everything. Why? So that the sovereignties and powers should learn only now, through the church, how comprehensive God's wisdom really is, exactly according to the plan which he had had from all eternity in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is why we are bold enough to approach God in complete confidence through our faith in him. This then is what I pray, kneeling before the Father, from whom every family, whether spiritual or natural, takes his name. Out of his infinite glory, may he give you the power through his spirit for your hidden self to grow strong so that Christ may live in your hearts through faith, and then, planted in love and built on love, you will, with all the saints, have strength to grasp the breadth and the length, the height and the depth, until knowing, through knowing the love of Christ, which is beyond all knowledge, you are filled with the utter fullness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is done. Alleluia, alleluia. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. It was preparation day, and to prevent the bodies remaining on the cross during the Sabbath, since that Sabbath was a day of special solemnity, the Jews asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken away. Consequently, the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with him, and then of the other. When they came to Jesus, they found he was already dead, and so instead of breaking his legs, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a lance, and immediately there came out blood and water. This is the evidence of one who saw it, trustworthy evidence, and he knows he speaks the truth, and he gives it so that you may believe as well, because all this happened to fulfill the words of scripture. Not one bone of his will be broken. And again, in another place, scripture says, they will look on the one whom they have pierced, the gospel of the Lord. In many churches, all over the world, there is a custom of making devotions to the Sacred Heart of Jesus on the first Friday of the month with some Eucharistic celebration. This is done in order to give thanks to Jesus for our redemption and for his infinite love and mercy and also to make reparation for our own sins and the sins of the world. Today, the church puts before us the Feast of the Sacred Heart so that we can contemplate the benefits which we derive from the love of Jesus, symbolized by his heart. Our love, our Lord, is our model. By imitating him, we learn the attitude which should characterize our relationship with him and with our neighbor. Christ is the head of the mystical body. He has the power of communicating to us the graces that flow from the divine Godhead. Our devotion to the sacred heart of Jesus helps us to acquire the virtues which can transform us 
so that we grow in his likeness. Today, let us ask St. Margaret Mary Alacoque to intercede for us so that our souls may become more united to the sacred heart of Jesus. Most holy heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, make us humble, patient, and pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Lord, hear us. We we'll now recite the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and dead of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O Lord, we pray on this surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, 
Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph as spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints of have you throughout the ages, who may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord. Let us pray. May this sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended.